The Accounts Receivable module includes two enhancements you're going to really appreciate. One is allowing the creation and tracking of overpayments at an invoice level. And secondly, and kind of in conjunction with that, you're now going to have the ability to print customer refund checks directly from Enter Cash Receipts task. So let's talk about overpaid invoices, which thus result in negative invoices. Now the system will allow you to do that if you choose to. You'll be able to track overpayments or negative invoices. You'll actually be able to see this in print reprint invoices, customer status, customer statements, the age receivables, trial balance, and in Business Insights Explorer. This is going to be great for when a customer pays more than what the invoice balance is. If a customer has many invoices with a negative balance, you can actually consolidate them into a single refund. Negative balances can also be treated like a credit memo. An invoice is closed if the balance is zero and there is a closed date. All of this capability will be controlled in the AR options by selecting Allow Invoice Overpayment. So what if you have a customer who has an overpayment? Now you're going to have the ability to easily do a customer refund. You'll be able to process refund checks, refund to credit cards, or other methods of refund such as cash and coupons. The system generated check numbers can be accommodated or you can manually enter a check number that you're using for your refund. Well, you'll use the same check numbers as accounts payable as well as the same check forms. There is now a check listing similar to the accounts payable check listing available in accounts receivable. However, you do not need the accounts payable module to be able to use the customer refund feature. These printed checks can be voided, posted payments can be reversed, and all of this will be controlled by a setting in maintain customer at the customer level. And just to remind you, we used to have a knowledge base article that showed you how to cut refund checks. Well, this tedious process has been replaced, as you're going to see, by this easier, more streamlined process. Firstly, if we look at Setup AR Options and go to the Other tab, you'll notice in the first column there is a new field called Allow Duplicate Refund Check Numbers that you need to consider. And the second column, you'll notice the Allow Invoice Overpayment. So if you're going to allow an invoice to be negative, it needs to be turned on, such as this is. Now, under maintain customer classes, we can also default allow customer refunds because the allowing of a customer refund is on the customer basis. So I could set that up at the class level and have it default. I also would set it up at the customer. So here you can see I've got a customer, my A number one customer, who is allowed refunds. You also notice that they do have a default payment terms that has a discount. And if I go back to my defaults and look at my customer Abbott and look at their defaults, notice that they do not allow refunds. So I need to think about those settings. Now for each of these, I have created three separate invoices for Abbott and three separate invoices for A1 customer. And you'll notice if they pay within a certain time frame, they do get a discount. So now I want to go into my cash receipts and pay these. And, and again, these, these invoices are now being paid within the, the uh, period that allows the um, discount. So I'm going to come into my enter cash receipts and I'll say I'm selecting a, a customer payment from a one customer and I'll just give it a reference number I'll let it default to today's date and they're paying forty five hundred dollars which is the entire balance of the invoices and I'll say that it was done by check terrific I'll go to my application show all my invoices and notice that I want to apply all of them, but I don't want the discount to be applied. I'm going to say that they actually did pay the entire $1,500. So because I have allow negative invoices, 
notice that that new balance is $75. And when I'm going to do the same thing on these other three invoices. So they've over overpaid their invoices. And you can see, I've got a message that the applications exceed the invoice balance warning me about that case, but I'm going to let, let this go. Now I also had that customer, Abbott, who had the same kind of scenario. So let's go ahead and accept a payment from them. And we'll give them some kind of a check reference, apply the payment for the entire amount of the discount. We'll also say this is a check and do the same thing as far as applications. And I'm going to overpay all of these so that there will be a resulting negative balance. And of course, I'm going to get that message. And in order to do this, the field has to be activated to allow an overpayment. So now I'll go ahead and post this. Now there's a lot of places that this will display as mentioned earlier. And I'm just going to go into customer status to quickly look at what we see on each of these customers. So now if I look at A1 customer, and go to their ledger activity, I can see that they indeed have three invoices that have been overpaid. And similarly, if I go to Abbott, I can see these three invoices that have been overpaid. Well now, I want to go ahead and refund that back to them. And coming into Process Cash Receipts, I'll just create a new batch, and you'll notice that there is a new button called Print Refund Checks. So I'm going to come in to enter cash receipts. And you'll notice when I drop down my payment options, we've got some new things. I've got a refund check, refund credit card, or refund other. And in this case, I want to refund a check. And I'm going to go ahead and select my A1 customer. Now, I can either put in a manual check number at the payment reference or I can tab through and let the system create a check for me. So whichever way you're, you want to handle this, if I had already written the hand check, great, I could go ahead and indicate what that check number was. Um, because this is a refund check, it brings it all down here and I want to refund $225. Now I'll come to the application and show all the open invoices and you'll notice that here are all of my open invoices and I can apply all of them to satisfy that entire refund check so I can consolidate them all together. At that point I'll go ahead and save it and now let's also do a refund check for our customer Abbott. And you'll notice that refunds are not allowed for this customer so I don't have this functionality. At this point if, this, if I was generating system checks, I would go ahead and print the refund checks. Otherwise, I would just go through my normal posting routine. And you know, this is, this is going to be reflected, all of these different steps are going to be reflected uh, in multiple places. The customer status, statements. If I go back to my customer status, here we see A1, their total is zero. They've been all satisfied with the refund check that's been cut. I can see that listed here. And Abbott, well maybe I'm going to be applying these as credit memos. So you can see now the refund process, if that's something that you need, is very easily accomplished as well as taking account for negative invoices.